Today, our world faces its biggest challenge, energy production. Here in the U.S., we produce only 45% of the crude oil we use. In 20 years, that number will have dropped to only 30%. But Sapphire Energy is working to change that. Sapphire Energy was founded on one goal, to create a renewable source of crude oil that reduces our dependency on oil from governments that don't share our values, improving our national security. Today, Sapphire Energy has facilities in California and New Mexico. And it's the Columbus, New Mexico location that we're most excited about. That's because, in partnership with the Department of Energy and the Department of Agriculture, Sapphire Energy has begun commissioning and startup of the very first commercial demonstration Green Crude Farm. It's here at the Green Crude Farm where Sapphire Energy will actually grow a renewable biofuel on a commercial demonstration scale. Since we are turning algae into crude oil, we call it the Green Crude Farm. Many people think fossil fuels came from dinosaurs. But actually, fossil fuels were formed way back in the Carboniferous period, when algae blooms formed worldwide and settled in the Great Basins of the time. The algae was covered up as the Earth continued to form continents, and lots of heat, pressure, and time resulted in crude oil forming from algae. What we're doing today is using cutting-edge science and modern farming techniques to speed up time. Algae is the most efficient organism we know of that takes the sun's energy and converts that energy to the hydrocarbons the world needs. And since green crude is chemically identical to traditional crude, what Mother Nature did once over 500 million years, we can now do renewably in a matter of weeks. Columbus, New Mexico was chosen because it boasts abundant sunlight, plentiful non-potable water, ample non-arable land, and all the free air you can breathe. These are the perfect conditions to harvest green crude. Most important, sunlight. This area boasts over 350 days of sunlight per year, enough to harvest year-round. Even though this is technically a desert, water here is abundant. But it's brackish water, which is a non-potable water that's too salty for traditional farming. But algae thrive in it. Carbon dioxide is emitted from cars, planes, and power plants that contribute to the greenhouse effect. We feed our algae large amounts of atmospheric CO2. During photosynthesis, algae filters carbon dioxide out of the air and harnesses the sun's power to combine it with water to create energy. By removing greenhouse gases, our fuel doesn't add any new carbon dioxide back to the environment. The result is a 70% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions from green crude. And the final piece of the puzzle is land. Our algae is grown on non-arable land, which is unsuitable for traditional farming. So algae never competes with food crops for resources. Fortunately, non-arable land is plentiful in the high deserts of New Mexico. We begin here at the world's first commercial demonstration scale algae to energy facility. The algae to oil process begins here in the inoculation ponds. The algae grown here is a robust strain chosen after years of research for its ability to flourish in harsh conditions and produce more oil. This seed algae is then moved to one and two acre production ponds where it grows to density, multiplying the algae culture each day. In just a couple of weeks, the algae crop is mature and it travels by gravity from the production ponds to the harvest pond. It is then pumped into the dissolved air flotation or DAF, where the algae is separated from much of the water into a biomass slurry. The water is recovered to be recycled back into the system. The algae slurry is then sent to the extraction unit. At the extraction unit, the oils are extracted from the biomass through heat, pressure, and chemicals. The remaining biomass is then recycled as fertilizer for the next crop, and the extracted oil is ready for refining. Our entire harvest process is a closed loop system where everything that can be recycled is recycled for use in the next crop. From here, the green crude is sent to a refinery just like regular crude oil, where it becomes gasoline for cars, diesel for trucks and ships, and jet fuel for airplanes. But unlike traditional crude oil, green crude is renewable and sustainable. But 100 acres of cultivation ponds at the green crude farm is just the beginning. After an initial shakeout phase for the first 100 acres, the pond design and algae cultivation technology 
will dramatically increase the industry's knowledge base of scaling the algae to oil process to meet growing demand. In the next phase of algae to oil production, we will see the expansion of the green crude farm and novel technologies leading the industry with new pond designs, higher efficiency in growth and harvesting of algae, and greater yields of oil production. By the end of 2014, the green crude farm will have the capacity to produce 100 barrels of green crude per day, and it is Sapphire's goal to commercialize an algae to energy farm by 2018. We are changing the energy landscape through cutting edge science, modern farming techniques, and an intense focus on actually growing the world's fuel. Domestically produced green crude is key to energy security and the defense of our nation. Renewable energy is vital to combating global oil volatility and ensuring a long-term solution is in place for generations to come. Green crude has the potential to usher in a new age of industrial agriculture and with it, the demand for a workforce. And since the fuels produced are chemically identical to the jet fuel, gasoline, and diesel fuel that we currently use, they are drop-in replacements that can be used in today's planes, cars, and trucks. Today, Sapphire Energy is at the intersection of energy, agriculture, and biotechnology, and stands poised to forever change the world.